the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat waited until Eric's post of divorce was final before they give him that historical $120 million contract. Yep, $120 million they gave Eric Poster. But they waited until that divorce was final because they like, yo, you a big dog. You've been here playing with us for a while. You've been here coaching for a while. Ain't no reason for you to be splitting this money with um with old girl. She wasn't with you coaching in the gym. She wasn't with you out there doing them drills. But yeah, man, uh, the Miami um Heat held him down. How do y'all feel about that? You know? Uh, should they have given him the contract so he could have given her some of that money? Or did the Miami Heat do the right thing? I mean, in my eyes, I mean, you know, uh, he a coach. Whatever whatever it takes for him to make his money and, I guess, not share it with somebody, uh, you know. Miami Heat, the Miami Heat's Gave Eric Spolstra a historical hundred and twenty million dollars, a hundred and twenty million dollars contract they gave to Eric Spolstra. But guess what? They waited until his divorce was finalized before they gave him that dough. They said, "Hey man, Shorty wasn't with you coaching in the gym. She wasn't out here with you doing them drills. <laughs> she wasn't traveling with you. Nah." So they are. They hit that to the side. They like, yo, we not gonna, we, we ain't gonna let her get none of this money from you. Yo. Go ahead, settle with her through that. Do what y'all doing over there. And now, divorce is final. She got her piece, whatever, whatever they say she get over there. Now you get this, boom, this historical hundred and twenty million dollars. Hold it down. She probably scratching her head like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Piece of that one twenty is mine. <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. Uh. I guess I would say good looking to the Miami Heats for doing that. Uh, or maybe it's all Eric Spolstra and his whole team and everybody that he got around him that put all this stuff into play to make sure that, hey, he ain't had to share that one, that 120 million with somebody that's departing out of his life, you know? I'm not really sure how their marriage was. I mean, like, who really knows how people marriage it? But I'm not sure what was going on with them. What made their marriage fall apart what made their marriage crumble maybe they just ain't wanting to be with each other anymore but Eric Spolster definitely ain't want to share that 120 with her and the Miami Heat definitely didn't want him to share it with her either and so she ain't getting none of it so they wait until divorce is final finalize the divorce then we get this 120 yeah man yeah that's that's a that's a that's a good look for um for coach good look for coach um on the other hand uh what's she gonna do is she going to try and go back to court? Because, you know, everybody been challenging all this type of stuff nowadays. She would be like, yo, he was supposed to get it when we was together. You know, let's see how this turn out. Because I, I, some money gets relationships and stuff like this very messy. And if she feel like if there's a chance that she can get any of this money, I don't think for a second that she ain't going to try and get none of that. Because she, you know, I, I don't think for a second she going to say, nah, OK, yeah, he, he got it after me. But she go. She probably already talking to her lawyers, trying to figure out, yo, is there anything we can do? Is, is there a play that we can play to get some of this money to get broken off a little bit more? I'm pretty sure that's already in play, man. When when it comes to money, people don't mess around when it comes to money, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Miami Heat looked out for their coach. They say, yo, coach, you're a part of the organization for years. We love you. We f with you. Hold this 120, but hold on. Wait till you get the divorce finalized. <sighs> hold this big check. Keep your head above water. Hold it down. Man, I like it. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. <laughs>